Conor McGregor versus Donald Cerrone. Conor McGregor, the ex UFC double champion of the world, the man that smashed the 145 pound division, knocked out the champion Aldo so fast, and knocked out Eddie Alvarez to win the 155 pound belt is bringing his energy and his ferocious left hand back to the octagon, allegations, video surveillance footage, a lot of bad things happened with Conor. After his loss to Khabib Nurmagomedov, Conor McGregor is known for exciting the fans and, and knocking his opponents out. He, there's nothing better that Conor McGregor is at than fighting and knocking his opponents out. He has 18 knockouts out of his 21 wins, and, and some of those knockouts are the most legendary knockouts of mixed martial arts history. He's taking on Donald Cerrone at 170 pounds at welterweight, January 18th in Vegas. We're going to get to see the return of Conor McGregor. Donald is a bigger man. He's six feet tall. He's going to have a one-inch reach disadvantage going into this fight. He's going to be the older man. He's about five years older than Conor McGregor. He's 36 years old right now. Conor McGregor wants to come back to the octagon, and he wants to remain the king. There's been allegations and things that Conor McGregor might not be proud of at this point in his career. And he wants to come back and he wants to erase that. He wants to leave an impactful career and, and not go towards the other end. Donald Cerrone is getting his gift. This is his 50th fight. Donald Cerrone has the most wins in UFC history. He also has the most finishes in UFC history. It's his 50th fight. And Donald Cerrone at this point in his career is just breaking records. And if he could beat Conor McGregor, and make a turnaround in this fight. He had an incredible war with Tony Ferguson, who's getting a title shot. And in his last fight, he was knocked out by Justin Gaethje. He wants to turn it around in this fight. He wants to turn his career around at 36 years old. And, and Conor McGregor wants to do the same thing. This is a crossroads fight. The loser of this fight really loses. Conor wants to go into this fight and blast Cerrone. He wants to knock him out. Conor in the first round has bricks in his hands. And if he can land one of those shots on the chin or on the temple of Cerrone, it's lights out. Donald Cerrone has a different style. He has a more intricate style than Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor's style is, is more rudimentary. It's more basic. Conor has that power and, and he wants to utilize it. Donald Cerrone in, in a five round fight versus Conor McGregor has many tools and he's a finisher. He has, he has the most finishes in UFC history. He also, in his career, can finish you standing up or on the ground. He has 17 submissions in his career, 10 knockouts. So Donald Cerrone, he's going to be going for his 28th finish in this fight. And, and if you can make Conor McGregor a win in his 50th fight, it might be the most incredible part of his career. I want to ask you, ladies and gentlemen, how you feel about the return of Conor McGregor. Will he be the same man? Has there been a change in his life? There has. Will that impact him? Or will Conor McGregor come out there at UFC 246, be himself, let all that go, and knock out the cowboy Donald Cerrone like he should? I'm going to pick Conor McGregor in this fight. Conor McGregor is going to go out there and knock out Donald Cerrone. Subscribe to Pulley. Hello. Subscribe to Pulley. Oh, no, I, I only train. I don't know what a break is. I'm so tough. <laughs> <laughs> so subscribe to Pulley. Yeah.